I've been driving Uber for two years as a side hustle. It has been fun. I had so many experiences, good and bad. Good experiences like if I speak in terms of the passengers, which Uber calls rider, I've had a lot of good experience because I've been getting some side dash, you know, like keep the change and some things. I get customers like that often. Not like often, but in a week I should get more than five. Yeah, in a week. Apart from my salary job I do, it puts money in my pocket. It helps in paying a lot of bills. I've made so many relationships in Uber. Yeah, Uber, not only Uber, so we should do the same Uber, Uber, Uber. Um, Uber, Taxify, register to for her. Because when I'm out, I'm out to make money. And when my mindset is set to make money, I don't want to be stopped. So when I drop someone at a particular location, I don't want to wait five, ten minutes before getting on the down. So, I honor my forehab. At this one will give me a ride. Well, that will take me out of there until when I'm like, okay, my spirit says it's that, or I'm done for the day. I've gotten nice customers, crazy customers, and uh, funny customers. Okay, let me start from the good customer. They understand the job you are doing, and they they, they appreciate it. And the way they, they appreciate it is like when you drop them, it's not until when you have been tipped, like keep the change or something. Back when I was in Oyo State, I used to have one of this my godfather like that. He used to tell me something, no matter what service anybody render to you, or no matter how much you are paying for any service being rendered to you, always learn how to say thank you. Like I always appreciate because when I take uh, flashback to that word, when I drop any passenger and he tells me thank you, I'm always very happy. It it even pleases me more than someone giving me money. Please me more than someone giving me money. So that's one. And there are some people they'll give you in cash and some give you in kind. In kind is like telling you thank you. And um, the bad, the bad are those ones. Like they are being frustrated from their home already. They are being frustrated from their home, so when they get into the car, they will transfer aggression. Like, you know, um, okay, like a girl I was trying to help. She was going to a street in Oniru. She, and I, I could just make a U turn in Lekki roundabout and connect Oniru. She was coming from inside Lekki Phase 1, so she was going to a street in Oniru. And when I started the trip, I saw where she was going to. I know the place, so there's no reason for me to to be dealing darling. The next thing she was like, Oga, where are you going to? Take the toll gate. I said, Madam, toll gate to Oniru. I said, take the toll gate. Yeah, this is the uh, school people always use to extort us. You want to do, you know, she said so many things. I made the U-turn and I went and I got to the address. You know. Uh, her conscience was not judging her when she got down. She called me like a day or two days after and was apologizing. So she was not explaining what she has faced before entering into my car. So we have people like that. And we have this a girl too I was trying to help too. She was going for an interview too. I, uh, she said I should take the fastest route. So I told her, um, Madam, the traffic on this bridge, <laughs> we don't know, it's during that Christmas and we don't know when it's going to end. And you are going for an interview, like you told me from the onset that you are going for an interview. I'm like, okay, fine. Why not end this trip and take a bike? She said, you do tell me what to do. This is it. And I kept it deaf to the I started driving. On her own, she was like, I think, I will give a second thought to that your idea you gave me. So that was how she took uh, OP, OP bike, and she got there. She asked, the next thing, when she would call, she said, please send me your account number. I said, for what, ma? I said, just send it. I said, for what? I said, I want to appreciate what you've done for me. That, do you know, even after the interview, 
I still saw you in the traffic <laughs> and I need to pay because my conscience is judging me because I, took, I brought you to that traffic and I need to pay for that time you've been wasting in traffic. I told her, don't worry. And I, I'm just doing it for God. The ugly ones are all these poor child. Well, I won't say rich man's daughter. Even my father too is a rich man. So I'm not sport. That's why you can see me not depending on this money. Poor child. That your father has small change. Because I believe those that the father has a has big change will not act in this manner. So there was a particular girl, she was going to just the next street. This thing I'm saying, if the girl listen to what she will know you see I'm talking about. I called her, hello, good afternoon, you requested for Uber. He said yes. Okay. I got here. Next thing she like the next where are we going to? He said she just wants to take a seat. I said you are just taking a walk or take a bike or Mara to that street. You don't need to order for Uber. Do you know where your request picked me from? Do you know how much for our bond? Because I believe we are going far. I can recover those for back. Look at where you're just taking me to. The next thing like how does it consign me? Is it my money? This I said, when you are bragging, you are bragging for a 300 naira trip. They are claiming that is it my money? 300 naira. So she kept quiet. The moment, moment she saw her mom, she the mom now like, ah, what's wrong with you? Now like, is this foolish uh, Uber driver? Is questioning me on my money? This I said, mind you for your information, you are not over my last month's age mates. The girl was just like 18, 17, in between 16 to 18. That's her age. So don't call me foolish. The next thing she just raised her hand and gave me a dirty slap in front of her mom. Mom. The mom was shocked. That was how I left. And I've encountered one too. I was on the island till like two, 11.30 to 12. Luckily I got one. I was very happy. Which took me to Allen. I got into Allen. I dropped the lady in front of the hotel she was going to. She started acting very funny. Started acting very funny. She said uh, she can't find her money when she kept on that. Ah, fine. Uh, I was moved by all those drama. But she, where she now spots everything was like, uh, do the way where your other Uber they do now. I'm like, ah, how did they do? You see, uh, me, I just open leg for you. Me, you're running me now. So your money, go, I, I, so that thing got me mad. I, I told her it's not going to work because it was taxified and um, we have challenges with taxify app. Yeah, if it was Uber, I would just ignore her and go. I would just report to Uber that this is what happened. Immediately Uber will credit me even with inconveniencing money because something like that has happened before. There was a woman that gave me a dirty slap uh, on my way to the airport. She requested for Uber ride from Abraham and so I so got into the airport. I think it was around 9,000 something. Faced a lot of traffic. It was during that Christmas period. He gave me a dirty slap like, thief, Uli, you have uh, did something to your map, please. I reported to Uber. Uber paid me, I think they paid me almost 17,000 because I told her, I told them they, he slapped, she slapped me. She they paid for inconvenience. So, but Taxify is not like that. When you report these things to Taxify, you are on your own. You won't get any reply. So it's like you just have to do the worst you can do at that time. When she was trying to call the guy that she wants to go and meet, luckily I just grabbed her phone. I kept it in my car. I said, Ma, if you give me my money, I'll pay. I'll give you your phone. He's like, Yeah, hey, you won't carry my phone. We'll take calm now. If my phone they hungry, you take calm. I took the phone. I drove off. So like three days after, she called me. I don't get your money. I said, transfer it. Let me see her last face. All these call girls can be very funny. Because I've had so many experiences where drivers will say they will set them up with tout and beat them and collect their money. So the same hotel, I just went there and gave it to the security man. And told because she said we should meet at that same and then roundabout. So I gave it to the security man that one of your customers said I should drop it for you, that she will come and take so, and I called her that is with the security man there. He collect your phone from me. The advice I will give to those that want to go into the business. Well, I will not give advice because now the business is is in the middle. It's in a crossroad now.
so I will not advise anybody to come into it. Even me, I'm trying to get out of the business. Huh? So I will not advise anybody to go into the business. But fine, if you still want to go, maybe you have another strategy. You have another game plan of doing it and making your money. But now the business is is in the middle. Don't let me say it's dying, but the business is in the middle because the business is having government challenges. The business is having these pandemic challenges too. So I will not advise anybody to venture into the business. Now, for now, for now, I will not. So even me, I want to run out.